Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before I jump into today's vlog, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. So as you guys can see, I have this giant um, like divot or like this little hole in my nose. And I know it's freaking hideous, but I had to get a biopsy done on my nose last week and it's still healing. They had to put a needle on my nose, which hurt by the way, really bad. My eyes teared up and um, it was just like some numbing stuff and then he took a scalpel and had to like um, basically scrape off all that tissue. So yeah, I'm left with this red hole in my nose. Let's pretend that's not there guys. But today we have a pretty, um, I wouldn't say busy day, but at one o'clock we have a viewing of our house. We're going to see the progress that has been made. Um, we drove past it a couple of days ago and noticed that there was people inside and we thought they were putting in flooring and everything. So we need to bring our tape measure and get some measurements for the rooms just so we know where we're going to put stuff. Um, how much like wallpaper to order like for the girls room and stuff like that. So yeah, we need to get measurements of everything. This is some of the things that we started to pack. As you guys can see, this was going to be the girls' nursery. It's pretty tiny, so I'm very excited to be moving so we have more room for them because this room only would have worked like temporarily. We just put some things in boxes and Jordan wrapped all their furniture, like their cribs and everything, and I started washing clothes and I put them in totes. Our closing date is September 9th, which is Jordan's birthday, so that's an exciting birthday gift, but our closing is September 9th, and that puts us at about a month and like a week, whatever, to start packing up this house and getting it in order. Since I have this giant old bump, it takes me a while to get anything done, so we need to start packing everything and getting everything together for this move, guys. You can pick it up this afternoon. Okay, it sounds good. Thank you so much. That's cool. It'll be for 12 weeks, and you probably won't see anything for about four to six weeks, okay? So just, I know it's hard, but stick with it. I promise it gets better. And then if he's doing good at 12 weeks and his sleep is better, he's not complaining of the same symptoms, um, you can just switch him over to a Flintstones vitamin, the, like, chalky ones, because those have 18 milligrams of iron in them. Okay, that was AJ's pediatrician and that has been something that has been going on too as well. So last week AJ had his wellness check and um, I've been telling his pediatrician that he's been having problems sleeping at night. AJ will either wake me up anywhere between like one time a night to literally, I kid you not, like every hour, like four to five times. She wanted to do like a couple things. The first was she put in a referral for a sleep study. And then she um, also tested his iron to see how low it was because she said that can cause um, issues itself with like restless legs and he might just be waking up because his legs are feeling super antsy. And she also said that AJ's tonsils uh, were super enlarged. So I don't know, it's just so much stuff guys and we really want him to be able to sleep in his room so he's not waking us up because the girls will be here soon and they'll be inside of our room sleeping in their bassinets. How do I wear this? Hi guys, it's me AJ with another video back. This beautiful, this beautiful is going to be about my camera. This is, see my camera? This is my camera. This is my camera here. And about that, I'm using my, mo my mom's camera today. That's my mom, mommy. And she used to have a pimple on her. Bruh. <gasps> <laughs> Guys, I'm screaming. 
So the house that we posted or like put in our last vlog isn't even our house. We thought that was our house the entire time and we realized that our house was the one next to it. So. Super nice in here. I love this window, it's ginormous. Big window. Do you like it, AJ? Yeah. So there's only one, there's two bedrooms upstairs and one down here. Yeah. What? I know, I'm doing, there's no way I'm sleeping down here. Yes, you are. <laughs> Not our house, our house. So like I was saying guys, we got our house mixed up. I feel like such a dummy because I posted that last vlog. Um, of us giving you guys a sneak peek of our new house and that's not even our house it kind of sucks i really like the other one i just think it looks more modern and i just think it looks different and yeah that's not our house it's a brand new house it's still a blessing and i'm just excited to have more space and a more open concept home than what we're in now and we didn't really care about the exterior finishes because we didn't have a chance to pick them out anyways. Yeah, I mean, we but, didn't get to choose the exterior, but they're both the same in the inside, right? Yeah, besides the personalized stuff that we picked in there. Oh, like inside of our house? Yeah, we chose the inside stuff. Anyway, it is what it is, you know. Still super pumped. I don't care about the outside at all. I know, like I said, I just feel like a dumbass because <laughs> of our last vlog and me putting that house on there like, oh, this is our house. Like, no, that's not our house, but <laughs> whatever. I'm gonna cry when we get home. <laughs> I always find something to cry about. So we just got home and right now I am currently going through Jordan's closet because he has so much clothes that he does not wear that's from like the eighth grade. <laughs> so we need to get rid of this stuff. He's not in a good mood cause I'm throwing away all his beloved old t-shirts, but babe, it's time to get rid of them. Another eighth grader will be happy wearing those. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is so ugly. Keith. Really? Babe, come I on. that all the time. Babe, it's so washed out. What's the point? It's a flannel. <sighs> I'll let you slide with that one. But this one, say goodbye to St. John's Bay. Medium flannel that you probably got. For two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that can go. This? Yeah. While he's giving away an Under Armour out of all the things that he wants to give away, he wants to give away this Under Armour hoodie. It's too small for me. Wow, you're too swole. It's burnt. Yes. Guys, this is making so much progress. I'm so proud of you, babe. <laughs> you're not going to wear this unless we go to another 90s party. Which we aren't because we don't have any friends. Just kidding. Wait, you wear this. Oh my god, this is ugly. Some Beetlejuice head ass flannel. <laughs> So I was able to convince Jordan to get rid of all these clothes, thank goodness. Jordan's not the type that is about like clothes and fashion, he can care less. As long as he has something to wear, he's fine, but I don't know. I just am trying to like encourage him to buy like some cute stuff and I don't know, I guess dress a little better. But as for me now, I'm just going to start packing um, some of our clothes. I can't wear like a lot of my stuff right now. Like they absolutely do not fit like at all. Like right now I'm wearing Jordan's old t-shirts and I like, like, I don't know. I just don't see the need of spending a lot of money on maternity clothes because I'm not going to be pregnant for long. I'm already almost seven months pregnant. 
the girls will be here in what like two months so i just don't feel the need to spend so much money in maternity clothes just to give them away or not get my money back that i spent on them and i don't see myself even like getting pregnant again or if i do it'll be like a long time for now so i just don't want to like harbor onto all these clothes I might as well just pack up all the stuff that I can pack up and get it done now while I have the energy. So let's get to it. I need to wash all this stuff. This is the girl's hamper and it just has like swaddles and um, their crib sheets, just stuff like that. You guys are probably wondering why I'm washing all their stuff now when I'm only 26 weeks. My logic is when we move, I'll be about 33, 34 weeks which means the girls can come literally at any time since, you know, I'm pregnant with twins. So they can come possibly at 33 weeks, 34, 35, 36. I just want to play it safe. So what I'm doing now is washing all of their clothes and instead of putting it in boxes where they get that box smell, I'm just putting it inside these totes that we got. That way when we get to the new house, I can hurry up and unpack all their stuff and not have to worry about washing loads and loads of laundry. I did want to end out this vlog a little early today just because I want to get this up and I need to edit. Yeah, so before I close out this vlog, I wanted to do a pregnancy update. So as of yesterday, I am 26 weeks pregnant and... Woo! Child, look at this bump, Jesus. Oh, it is big. I'm tired of people asking me at this point. Hi, AJ. Mommy. Okay, hold on. Our mommy's almost done vlogging, okay? Anyway, I am tired of people asking me when I'm due, and when I say November 5th, they look at me like I'm crazy. And then I say, oh, I'm having twins, and they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But yes, 26 weeks as of yesterday, and I am ginormous. I went through this bout of, oh my god, my ass looks so flat. But I went through this bout of not having any energy, like waking up and being completely tired and going back to taking um, three hour naps like I was in my first trimester. Um, I don't know if it's because my iron's low or if it's normal, what's going on, but <laughs> yeah, I've just been kind of tired, but I've been forcing myself these past like two, three days to stay um, up throughout the day and to wake up early when AJ wakes up just so I can have the day to get stuff done because I hate being unproductive because then I feel lazy and then I feel bad about myself. I'm having Braxton Hicks still. They get worse in the car. I don't know why but yeah they get definitely worse inside the car and that's pretty much it. The girls are moving like crazy and we picked names that's another thing we've been picked names but they're confirmed i actually got hold on let me show you guys so i ordered these baby books off etsy and here goes a little card it came with and this place was called love and wild but i got these baby books and they're the um first five years and i liked that I had like a pregnancy portion and then baby shower stuff and family tree just like all the cute baby stuff you need and I love it so I got one of the babies one in pink and then I got the other one a white one just because I wanted them to be different I was trying to find twin baby books but you'd be surprised how difficult they are to find so they are their own individual people so we just ended up getting them their own separate baby books but like I said, guys, I'm going to close out this vlog early. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment below. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me know where I can get cute pregnancy clothes, and we'll <laughs> and we'll keep you guys updated. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.